one time there was a, a young boy at school who called him Johnny, and Johnny wasn't very good at maths. What happened is when he was younger, he struggled with maths a bit. So his teacher, you know, told him he wasn't very good at maths. And then his parents, the teacher told the parents. So the you know the parents were telling him he wasn't very good at maths. So guess what? When Johnny did maths and had exams and stuff, his results were poor. So Johnny was convinced, young boy convinced he was no good at maths. And then one day he was in class and the teacher put up a maths problem on the on the board. And he looked at it and he said, I can solve that. But the teacher was asking the class who could solve it. And he put up his hand and all his, all the other pupils in the class started laughing. They said, Johnny, you can't solve that. And then the teacher asked again and Johnny put up his hand and then the teacher started laughing. You know, of course, Johnny, you can't solve that. So he got really mad and indignant and he marched up to the board, got the chalk and he solved the maths problem. And then... From that moment on, Johnny realized actually he was very good at maths and he went on to become a maths professor and had a very successful career. But that's just an example. So that, that moment of getting mad in the classroom was the catalyst for Johnny to realize actually he wasn't bad at maths, but he'd been told. So he was like programmed. He was like hypnotized that he was. And it, the same happens with all of us when we're young. We're picked up beliefs that we're good or bad at things and they stick with us. And what prompted this story was um, me watching a crow the other morning um, burning an acorn in the ground. And that reminded me of Maxwell Maltz's book, Psycho-Cybernetics. He talks about a success instinct that, that birds have, like squirrels and crows and so on. And we have it as well. And it's built into us a success instinct. But sometimes we get in our own way. And Johnny in school is a great example of finding out, well, actually, he overcame it at a young age. Uh, so how can we make sure we don't get stuck ourselves and go on to have a more successful business in life? So in tomorrow's video, I'll share another story around that.